It's wedding day today. We're here with the boys. It's been a couple years actually. So we actually have some big news. Three, two, one. What's going on guys? Moran here. It's about to head to Marbella. Gonna go to Rob's wedding and also do a half a marathon. It's breakfast here. Even got a muffin, you never know. I need those scarves right now, you know. Book from David Gagas, never finished. Uh, read his last book and I was like, I'm gonna do a half a marathon. This is surely gonna give me some inspiration. Probably the toughest guy on the planet, so it's gonna motivate me. Now, one thing about Spain, I'm gonna have a hard time getting used if we decide to move here. Manana, manana. Oh. How, how kind of slow they are. We're uh, in a massive waiting line now. Hey, that's all, that's part of the lifestyle here. You take it easy. All right, so we arrived. We got a very nice Airbnb, so let me show you around. Here we have kitchen which is pretty big and nice to also cook our own food bedroom number one there shower living room very nice outdoor chilling area and up there we also have a roof terrace which i'll show you guys later don't destroy everything just yet yeah i got an office space uh with an own bathroom even so i can still get some proper work done here bedroom and another bathroom nice view as well gym of today is elements never been here so pretty excited what's up bro it's been a couple years actually bro. yeah about two years i guess it's good we're to back. see you we're gonna hit a workout we got the whole entire crew here i don't think you've ever met joey d no first time seems Hell like yeah, a good man. dude though yeah yeah, yeah yeah it's all the ogs coming together here youtube gathering the ogs like the 2017 2018 youtubers yeah, <laughs> let's get it Wedding day today. We're here with the boys. Yes. Been Long a while. time no see. Hell yeah, Long man. Long time no see. You guys ready? You guys trained with Rob this morning. Did I yeah, see that right? It was, it was a, we didn't <laughs> really, really train. call that a session. All right, we're gonna have to Rob's room, and then I'm um, gonna get all ready for the big day. I'm excited. It's pretty warm, man. It is very. It's very warm. This like with this thing closed. <laughs> oh man. You, you know what? Nerves kind of kicking in, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I want to say. Husband and wife. <laughs> of the wedding. We're in known territory today at Villa Lipset. Look what we got here. What I was just thinking about. It. So here you go, Christian. So Alphalee just dropped a new launch. It's absolutely sick. Some of my favorite items so far. This is the power tank, which has this compression material. As you can see, you can even see the, the apps popping out. I'm not even that lean right now, but the gains are just crazy on this one uh, we don't have the open back which i like i feel it looks more athletic and then i'm wearing it with the sun fade pant which is really nice dude this material extremely soft skinny jeans are no longer in fashion we do the same in the gym loose bottom there i think it's nice with the shoes as well power tank comes in different colors honestly i've never worn like a red tank top in my life i think it's freaking clean okay especially matched with like white shorts these are my new favorite shorts guys for running uh, absolutely amazing because they're super light weight material they're called the strike shorts also with a place for the phone so these are perfect for running but also for high intensity training here i'm wearing the core tee this is one that you can wear literally anywhere not just in the gym but also outside of the gym uh, we got the new graphic which is super dope and this also has a nice fit to it shows off the gains but at the same time uh, it fits nice and loose like it's breathable and then we have the new power pan which is sick as well light stretchy material we got the zippers and i really like this color so guys if you want to pick up anything at alphaly during this launch make sure to do so with code meringue because it'll give you a 10 percent discount how's it going you're good how are you guys now i just hit one workout here and for the rest of the week i have not been lifting but i have been running because i'm doing half a marathon here on sunday so it's going to be freaking awesome man i'm Pretty stoked. Uh, I was pretty like terrified whether I was gonna make it or not, but I, I'm believing in myself now. I think it's gonna be fine. So, two more days and then it's time. Where the Rustic with the crew? Here we are. Hey. Hey. YouTube legends yeah. and ladies. 
and we got uh, some pizza. Also had some bread. Loading up on the carbs. It's the day after tomorrow. It's a big day. Are you joining? Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's do the last minute impromptu uh, half marathon. Can do it? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. No, for sure. For it? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bro, it's my honeymoon week. Next time, oh, next time. Next time. How are you guys feeling? When we've just been on a complete high, I know it sounds like really cliche to say, but it was the best day of our lives. It literally it, was. It, like, it truly was. Like, I know people say that like the whole time, but it really is the best day of your life. It's the only time, apart from your funeral, that you'll ever have all, all those people, people together. Oh yeah. yeah. So it was a crazy feeling. We've just been on a high all week, just relaxing and life is good. Life nice. is amazing. We got the entrecote, it's looking amazing. We got the entrecote over here, looking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Oh, I don't know. Taste test. Yeah. That's a good entrecote there. Uh, Steve, put it on your Marbella recommendations. Is the word entrecote or entrecote? Yeah, wow. Irish. I think Just it's entrecote. Just butcher every fancy yeah. word. We're like entrecote. It's better to be entrecote. Antreco, that's Dutch. <laughs> So guys, just did a half a marathon here in Marbella. Looking like a full runner, you know? <laughs> I got the cap, I got the, got the shirt. Pretty tough, man. Um, especially the last two kilometers. I was running fast. I did a pace of like four at the end. Because I thought I was going to get uh, right under two hours. Which I did two hours and like 45 seconds. So almost less than two hours. Crazy which, fast. That wasn't even the goal. I was just halfway and I was like, maybe I can do... I was halfway, I was about one hour, so I was like, maybe I can do two hours. Who knows? You want to do two hours and ten minutes. So I was at the that was finish the, line yeah, trying to get the shot of him on the finish line. Then I saw him on the map, <laughs> and he moved so fast, I had to rush to get there on time to get the shot. So that was great. Yeah, sometimes you got to mentally push yourself. So Because I did, I was much faster than the plan. And this is quite different than um, a men's physique show. I think the cool thing about this is that anyone can do a race, anyone can join. Um, obviously, you do want to practice beforehand, but it's not like that you have judges, you know, telling you if you are doing right or wrong. It's quite um, straightforward. So a lot of people from different ages joining, some really old guys like running faster than me, which uh, is kind of cool, man. Yeah, so I would definitely recommend to do this half marathon here in Marbella. Great vibes. It's very warm, though, I got to say, with the sun. But running past the sea, it's so incredible. We should probably move here. So the aftermath feeling pretty damn fried, man. Feeling fried and satisfied. And that's literally what it is, man. Because I do feel really happy. Um, very often when you reach a goal, you actually feel like, man, I should have done better. I should have done this. But I actually feel like, you know, I did better than expected, which I, I really did. And so it really feels good, man. And it also motivates me for the next challenge to come. So what do you guys think? What should the next challenge be and when? And which challenge do you have planned? I'm very curious to know. So I'm having breakfast right now. This is one of my favorites. It's puffed wheat. I'm really glad they have it in Spain as well. And um, it's just super high in volume, like relatively not that high in carbs because you can eat a lot more of it compared to oats, for example. And um, yeah, so this is really a tip. If you are someone who is very, very hungry, this can really help you with, you know, being more full because you also eat for longer. So I'm going to eat this. Then we have a busy day coming up. It's going to be a good one. Gonna need some energy for what's about to go down. So I wanted to pick up a White Monster, you know, the, the OG YouTube energy drink. But um, they only had this one here. They ran out of whites. Oh, the sound. I don't drink these like daily anymore like I used to. So now it's more special. Mm, wow, pretty nice. Nothing beats the white one though, but this is nice for a change. No way. Oh, that was probably good to see you. So I just finished the podcast here with Amara. <sighs> Feels good to catch up, bro, here in Marbella. Man. So we've been with each other like quite a lot over the past uh, week or two. We had the wedding, we went out for some nice dinners and everything, but it was amazing to just sit down and chat and kind of talk about the whole journey so far. So from student aesthetics, Marijn, meeting each other. It was like a really nice trip down memory lane and it just put me in a great mood. What you say is the, the best takeaway from the day? 
I think the best takeaway and what you uh, managed to drop a lot of knowledge on was about when we were talking about, you know, getting burnt out and creating your dream lifestyle and that, you know, how you want to have something in place that you can manage and sustain. I think you brought a lot of knowledge there. So go check it out. Yeah, guys, check it out. The link will be in the description. So I have, I have the car right here and everything, but uh, I was, whenever I go down to the beach and like I try to get a sea swim in every day, my car would just get like covered in sand. So I got this bad boy and honestly I use it so much. I like He's going to go in Dutch. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I fly around the hills on this bad boy. It's actually they ship uh, they ship everywhere in Europe. Engwe is the name. So go check them out. Highly recommend. I might get it, man. Yeah, dude, man, dude. Me and you can go for some romantic bike rides. There he goes. <laughs> See you later, bro. Nice to know that I can drive a bicycle here. I never did it in the Netherlands, but then again, the weather is always shitty. You know, it would mess my hair up. I'm actually not joking. So here I can go on the bicycle. So we actually have some big news to share with you guys. Should we do three, two, one? Wait. Three, two, two one. one. We're three. pregnant. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so no, we're not pregnant, but we are moving, moving to Spain. Moving to Spain. Hell yes. And the funny thing is that we don't actually have a house or anything here yet. We're just... What did we do last night? What did we do? Oh, we canceled our apartment. <laughs> yeah. So we have to leave next month. There and is then no at, plan B. At 11.30, I remembered we had to cancel some other things too. So we were already True. in bed, lights out, trying yeah. to sleep. And I was just like, fuck, we Canceling need to cancel. Canceling phone, phone things, like the bills, internet. Yeah, and all those stuff. things. But we Hell canceled yeah. everything, so no way back. And now we are going to look at some properties, all right? Which we've already done also last time we were here. So right now we're headed to Estepona. And this seems like a really good place to invest. They're building a lot here. They're really innovating a lot um, as far as the projects, the upcoming projects for the future. And so uh, we are considering this. I think we've had one showing here. And then we've also had some showings in Elviria, which is on like the other side of Marbella. And, and also. Capopino. Cabo Pino and also in Marbella itself. So just like different locations, also different type of houses. I think we're going to a penthouse now with like two uh, floors. This is like so close to uh, Morocco. It's actually crazy. I think it's like an hour drive to Gibraltar or less. And then you can take the boat to Morocco. So that's pretty sick. Anyways, if one of you guys live here or you've been on vacation or trips, uh, surely let us know which area you think is nice. Now the one we just went is not the one, so we're gonna keep searching. And if you wanna follow this journey in life, but also in fitness and in business, make sure to subscribe to the channel because more English videos are coming. As soon as we move here, I'm gonna dedicate myself to that again because I miss making English videos and there's a lot of nice collabs here to do, a lot of English speaking people. So it's gonna be a good time. So hit that button, like the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.